Mount Eliza and Mount Anne. Going up to the High Memorial Hut. Go check on it. It's fucking pretty warm out here. See all the damage from the fires. It's fucking crazy. Look at this, is only just regrowing back. It's crazy. 10 a.m. Let's do it. Oh, beautiful, look at that. That's a fair old slog coming up from the car park at Condonium Creek and up that hill at Mount Ann. Whew, she's a slog. Oh, wow. First point, so second and third. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I've made it to the junction. Oh, I'll give it this is the lookout. Whew, fuck, I'm hot. It's like a painting, you know, when you see where the fires have gone up through here, just there, going up under, over here. Well, I think it went up just over there on that part of the hill there. You can see it where it was all affected. Getting closer. How beautiful is that? You only see the road, you can't even see where I've come from. That was the first hill, and that's the second hill, and then this is the third. Ah, Deception Ridge. That's what all that was. I only just realised all the rocks that are around here are all granite. It's all granite. All granite rock. Oh shit. Just um, when me and Chloe went to shoot an island, half dollar right and then half granite. We're at 940 elevation from the car park. <clears throat> I think we're literally at the top. That's that. That's that rock that I was looking at, and I was look, debating myself on that second hill, going, "Ah, uh, if it's up there, I'm going to turn back." I just haven't been fucking ready for this the last couple of days because we've been. Smashing that work out and had a few too many beers last night. <laughs> it's alright though. So yeah, I was right. It is right up on the top. Awesome. Size and shape of these rocks here off top. So pretty. It's gonna be a good view when I get on top of these stairs. Steps on it, stairs. The rocks, they don't go that. Formations in it, the patterns. Oh, oh. oh wow. No way. I'm up on that ridge line now. Oh wow. Sick. Just 
just about to hit a thousand meters in elevation so this must be the highest point from where you can't see from down at the car park or where you can see from the car park so the huts are in over this ridge what superb land fucking beautiful See our Jane. So the lake must be on the other side. Lake Judd or whatever it's called. So that's Mount Sarah and the lake would be coming in this way behind that hill. Alright, up this one hill and then we're at the hut finally. Just better met a bunch of Locals from down Hobart, Blue Mountains and stuff. So that they just done the circuit in three days. That's the toilet. So where does everyone camp around here? So this is high camp, is it? Obviously someone goes there. Sheltered in. Yeah, okay. No spots here, no, not really. Must be further up then. Or is it past the hut? Imagine being right up the top of there. You'd be sitting up there for days looking at all this. It's just amazing. Okay, so people are in here too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'll get you. So it's just scattered areas really. That's a good little spot there. It's not really. Once it regrows, you'll be shaded in. Uh, protected by the wind and stuff. the toilet I'll gather the huts up here a flight spot here Copper how you going? Good. Wow. I finally made it <laughs> I finally made it I can't memorial hut well, here it is we are at High Camp Memorial Hut with a bunch of fucking flies. <laughs> Got up here within two hours, stopping and taking breaks and having a look around. If I can put the tent up there. <laughs> Water, cool. What a view. <laughs> Alright, she's in the hut. Made up all by rock, and this is like, oh, I didn't even see that. High Camp Memorial Hut, erected 1973 in memory of Agnet Dam Guard John Plaster. Plaster? No, it's got an eye on it. Plaster. Lagos Truncheons. Ah, oh, there you go. Members of the Hobart Walking Club. Oh, no shit. 
I was reading about Alagus the other day in the Southwest book. Awesome. Alright, let's get in here before those flies get me. I can flies everywhere. Alright, this is the High Camp Memorial Hut. Nice and clean. Stairs going upstairs. It's just like the hut up on Mount Kunyani. Um, sol uh, not solitary. I can't, oh, mate. There's not that many names of the huts when you've been doing this for a while, you forget. That's Mount Sarah Jane. At the back there. Um, oh, the A frame hut that's up on Mount Kunyani. It's exactly like that. It's nice and cool in here when it's hot anyway. Started down there somewhere. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Have a book. I need heaps of people here. Twenty one. So let's look from New Year's. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, there's been heaps of people here. That's why it's been so packed out. Crazy. Awesome. Awesome. Nice, neat little hut. New door handle. Which is good. A bit of shinking needs to be done here and up here. See the gaps. But other than that, it's good. Good little hut. I don't want to go outside. There's too many little flies. They attack you. <laughs> They're annoying. <laughs> But there it is, High Camp Memorial Hut. That's it. Thanks for having me. Oh, nice little camp spot here. So everyone's just got their own little designated areas. Can you imagine if the hut was wooden? It would have definitely caught fire. Or is this just dead from years? Or is it dead from... Nah, it's got to be the fires. Fuck, if the fires spread up here, that's mad. Lucky that the um, hut's made out of rock. So there's Mount Eliza. You go up there, that's the scramble part. I think, I think that's what Rob was talking about. I'm not fucking doing that. I've only got a day pack on. It's only for the people that are going up there over to the next camp that are doing the full circuit. Mount Antrack. Like Jodway. Fucking oh, absolutely beautiful. Fucking awesome. So happy I did this today. So there's a little, couple of those little camp spots out. Stop looking at this. <laughs> Alright, this car park, we gotta go down there. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I can't see him now. Bloke up there is like, You running? I'm like, No! I'm just getting back down this hill, mate. He's like, Did you run up there and run back? I'm like, No! Just getting down these steps, mate. I've got no beer. <laughs> and no spin for a session. <laughs> Who wants to do step by step, mate? Just get the fuck down here. It's only that steep section anyway. It's not too bad now. You're near on jumping anyway. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, a few more hikers coming along. Yeah, mate, you, you just get sweaty going up there. Oh, look, that's where it is. That's over. That's where I was. Fuck me. Here's the car park. It's two o'clock, I started at ten, so and I've had like let's say about an hour stopping, having lunch at the heart, talking to a few hikers, 
swapping and taking some photos. So 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 4 hours. Smashed it. Although I haven't got a backpack on. Most of the people that are coming up here have got backpacks on, it's off its head. And then there's other people that are starting at Lake Judd and then coming up over this way and finishing this way. It's, it's weird. wonder if Lake Judd is worse off starting compared to the people that are starting this way and going up these steep hills. Because the elevation's over 1,000. You're going over three hills before Mount Eliza, before you get to the hut. It's been a good little walk though. Absolutely amazing. Time to go back home, squeeze my missus's bum, <laughs> and have a beer. It's been three days in the bush. Let's get back to fucking Hobart. Alright, so we went from there all the way up to here and back. Now, we can trip to Mount Eliza. So I've just done it in four hours, 8.2k.